Unit 1, Lesson 3, Making Scaled Copies. Number 1. Here are three polygons. Draw a scaled copy of polygon A using a scale factor of 2. The copy I've drawn has twice the width and twice the height. Draw a scaled copy of polygon B using a scale factor of 1 half. This scaled copy has half the width and half the height. Draw a scaled copy of polygon C using a scale factor of 3 halves or 1 and a half. This scaled copy has 1 and a half times the width and 1 and a half times the height. Number 2. Quadrilateral A has side lengths 6, 9, 9, and 12. Quadrilateral B is a scaled copy of quadrilateral A with its shortest side length of 2. What is the perimeter of quadrilateral B? I highlighted in green some important information. The shortest side length is 2. And the shortest side length of the original is 6. So it went from 6 to 2. 6 times what number equals 2? 6 times 1 third equals 2, since 2 is 1 third of 6. So we know that the scale factor is 1 third. So now we need to find the lengths of the other lines. 1 third of 9, 1 third of 9, and 1 third of 12. We can add those up and we'll find the perimeter. 1 third of 9 is 3, 1 third of 9 is 3, and 1 third of 12 is 4. Add up all these side lengths and the perimeter is 12 units. Number 3. Here is a polygon on a grid. Draw a scaled copy of this polygon that has a perimeter of 30 units. What is the scale factor? Explain how you know. First I want to find out how many units are in the perimeter. The original shape has a perimeter of 10 units. They're asking me to draw a scaled copy that has a perimeter of 30 units. So I need to go from a perimeter of 10 units to a perimeter of 30 units. 10 times what number equals 30? 10 times 3 equals 30 units. So we know it's going to have a scale factor of 3. 2 units times 3 equals 6 units. 3 units times 3 equals 9 units. 1 unit times 3 equals 3 units. 2 units times 3 equals 6 units. 1 unit times 3 equals 3 units. And finally, 1 unit times 3 equals 3 units. 6 plus 9 plus 3 plus 6 plus 3 plus 3 equals a perimeter of 30 units. Number 4. Priya and Tyler are discussing the figures shown below. Priya thinks that B, C, and D are scaled copies of A. Tyler says B and D are scaled copies of A. Do you agree with Priya or do you agree with Tyler? Explain your reasoning. Figure D is a scaled drawing of figure A with a scale factor of 2. Figures B and C are not scaled drawings. The perimeter of A is 12 and the perimeter of D is 24. For figures B and C, I've outlined in green what the perimeter would look like if they were scaled drawings. Figure A has a height and width of 3 by 3 and figure D has a height and width of 6 by 6. It turns out that both Priya and Tyler are wrong because D is the only scaled copy of A.